A few years back, if in order for engineers to make any sort of change, would take months to roll out. Now it happens sometimes in the order of days. AWS and the cloud enables to do that. I, I'm Ditesh, Director of Engineering at Grab. Grab is the leading ride-hailing service in Southeast Asia. We do 1.5 million bookings if we are not running. Basically, transportation comes to a standstill. Grab is a platform that fundamentally serves uh, two parties. One side of the market, uh, which is very evident, are the passengers. There's another part of it which is just as important, our drivers. We have got the biggest land fleet in Southeast Asia. Drivers depend on us daily uh, for their livelihoods. With this comes two challenges. Because of tremendous amount of demand, we need to scale. But because so many people depend on us, we need to stay stable. And these are two opposing forces. You can scale easily if you don't have to be stable, and you can be very stable if you don't have to scale. And the answer that came after a lot of reflection on this was we need to address the fundamentals. And a big part of the fundamentals is infrastructure. If we can make sure that our infrastructure is built in a way that just doesn't meet the needs of today, but also meets the needs of the future, it, it completely changes the, the, the type of conversations we have. AWS enables that. All these different components are built to let us scale, but then also be reliable. We started out using um, the, the, the bare, the, the basics as I would call it. In, in the second iteration, we, we, we kind of expanded uh, the, the services that we use across the board. In order to support our scaling needs, we need to start thinking about caching layers. So that's where we started using Elastic Cache. Rateshift enabled a lot of that big data computation. So our Rateshift uh, database is huge. It's massive. Everybody in the company uses it. It's not just the engineers. The product guys use it. The marketing team uses it. The data team uses it. In addition to that, we are doing real-time computation. And in order to uh, be able to do real-time demand and supply matching, we need to have real-time data streams. The end uh, result is this. Our drivers will be told, the demand is at this place right now. Because there's high demand, uh, the drivers will be paid more. What we are looking to move towards though is even one step further. We want to start building predictive models. In two hours time, this area is going to have high demand. If, if you want to take advantage of that, move to this. Uh, area And the way we can do that is by taking into account multiple factors, building data models around it, and using the infrastructure to compute those models and come up with an actionable item. There are many benefits to being on the cloud. Not having to deal with physical issues, having to go down to a data center at 3 a.m. in the morning to change a failed hard disk or a server that's overheating because the fan has stopped rotating. Companies used to have dedicated operational teams just dealing with this sort of issues day in and day out. And that carries very little value for the organization. And more importantly, it carries very little value for the engineers themselves. Every engineering team and every engineer gets an AWS account. They can run full-blown experiments in their sub-account and they would find things that might be a problem three months from now or six months from now. And giving engineers that ability is unparalleled. It's my estimate that we probably saved 30 or 40% of resourcing and manpower um, that, that then went to serving our core focus. And our core focus is outserving our customers. The fact that the team didn't have to worry about that just allowed us to move significantly faster. And in a startup environment, that is make or break.